Hi everybody, welcome to the latest fan cam. So before we get on with the fan cams, as usual, no, get downloading the One Football app. It is free. The link is in the description for that. All the latest news, your transfers, your gossip, stats with Newcastle United. Every football fan needs it. I'll be shocked if we bring anyone in. Like, there's a, Almiron, there's a, loan. it's not going to happen. Like, just move on. Just focus on what we've got. Like, January's done. Would you take Rondon permanently? You know I'd take Rondon permanently. Big beautiful man and all, but like, mate, we're not doing anything January. Like, get like get real, honestly, we're not gonna bring anyone in January at all. Well, I think we know the answer to that, or in his back pocket, or he's out bailing other retail shops out. No, on actually, I don't have any confidence he's gonna spend any money. Um, what would be surprising though is we, we sign no players in this window, Rafa goes at the end of the season and then suddenly out of nowhere actually puts 50 million into the club and gives to the other manager instead of actually uh, backing Rafa with it, instead it actually goes and backs whatever manager he appoints in the summer, him and Charlie appoint them with a budget, that wouldn't surprise me one bit, he gave Steve McLaren 80 million to spend I wish Rafa had got that, he would have done a much better job with those resources. I would love to see some potential then, just sign some, sign a player, one or two. Obviously it's going to be loan deals, I can't see us uh, buying a player. Obviously I thought we would have gotten that um, Almiran uh, way back in uh, December. And obviously the, like the negotiations? New, under the negotiations that were, that were interested, but we seem to be that seems to have just gone down now. No. Spend it on House Fraser, HMV, whatever flipping um, retail shop is going out of business, he'll go and buy that and save them. So you can make a quick book like you did with JD a couple of years ago. You know what I mean, mate? It's just. It's just. Now you can do. This club, the players we've sold, like Sozogo for 30, 35, you had Andy Carroll, you had Genie Wijnaldum. Uh, where's the money at? It's, it's in Mike, Mike Ashley's pocket, he can't be bob, can't be asked. Uh, that, that's all, that's, he just cannot be bothered whatsoever. It just, it's just really annoying why he's, he's, he thinks like other businesses are more priority than what us are. He feels Newcastle, out of all of his businesses, he, to him, Newcastle is his least priority. Oh, it's just, are oh, we going to stay 17th to keep Ashley's money coming in? That's all it's about. That's all it's about. Like the fans just can't be bothered with him. Like Ashley is an absolute joke. Like he just doesn't care about this club whatsoever. He doesn't. He doesn't back Rafa Benitez because Rafa Benitez wants to invest on players, and he's not getting it. So you think that Ashley wouldn't surprise you at all if he's trying to keep money back from Rafa because he wants to get rid of him and then give his old manager some more money? I, just would, I wouldn't be surprised. I that's just, I don't want to be negative, but that would be just the most Newcastle and Ashley thing ever. I just I just could see it, really. We did it with McLaren. We might do it with another idiot manager that he appoints this summer. Not get me hopes up if we do get this um, left back from Monaco, I think we've heard. Who hasn't kicked a ball for two months? No, uh, but um, as That's I Newcastle all over. Oh, it is. Yes, definitely. I've not um, just uh, get me hopes up about it. It'll just feel like what you call Groundhog Day all over again. I think the club will come out probably tomorrow or the next day and say we're closed for business.